bring the ladies of Houston, and I'm here at Club Rhythms. Well, I'm in the parking lot, actually. I'm here interviewing Quentin Malvo, otherwise known as Big Q. This is the CEO of Da Enterprise. So we're just going to talk with him a little bit about his company and, you know, see where he got started.
was saying. Got a lot of DJs trying to be rappers. I don't know nothing about it. Hey, hey. You know, a lot but, of rappers trying to be actors. Yeah, you know, but you know, <laughs> I just wish, you know, a lot of the DJs would really bring and find real talent and put it back. I think uh, it means a lot to me because I feel like as much as I'm being a fan of music, I know it's a lot to offer and stuff that's going on in Houston that people not really recognize and how, you know, we got a lot of real true artists now. And I just want to expose more talent. I just want to bring more to the table. It means a lot to me because I've been able to give blessings that was given to me to artists as I need. Well, you know what? I want to say that I'm very proud to even be able to interview you, Quinn Malvo, and Dot uh, Enterprise today. You know, I I had a brief audio interview with you earlier, and we got to talk a lot about uh, personal things and, and 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 how important family is to you. And and and, and it, meant, it meant so much to me when I heard it earlier. And I just want to know if you could just reiterate a little bit of that for what we talked about earlier. You know, it. It really touched a lot of places for me, and I know that if you were to share that with everyone else, it could really mean a lot to other people. Well, I mean, like, like, like I said before, I had a I had a production company. Um, I did a lot of behind the scenes uh, stuff, you know, with a lot of artists. They really didn't know it was me involved in it. Uh, I worked with a lot of entertainment companies like SES Entertainment. You know, they had you know, shout out to Slim Thug all the time. So back in the day. A lot of cats don't know about that SCS Entertainment. It was, it was a wild night back in the day. Uh, uh, but like far as artists go today, it was it's really important to me because it's about living your dream, living your life, and you know they, you know, other folks, they 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 they'll let you believe that it's okay to dream to be a fireman, it's okay to dream to be a to be a a, a ballerina. You know, you can go to Hollywood and be homeless for 20 years and finally make it. That's okay. But for guys out here in the streets, you know, you dream to be a rapper, a DJ, or just somebody who want to sell CDs and they want to shoot, shoot, shoot your dreams down. I just want to bring back the dream that everybody, you know, have. And just have a good time with it, make good music. And the moral of this story is never stop dreaming. This is Kimberly Michelle with The Real Single Ladies of Houston, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm here with Quentin Malvo and we'll have a drink. Oh, Quentin, he already got his drink.